Hello, my friend, how are you doing? Um, just want to show you really quickly how you can conduct a Levine's test for homogeneity of variance. Um, this is a test which is specifically important if you're contrasting two groups, for example, using an independent sample t-test. Um, and it's essentially a test that checks to see if you have equal variances in two groups. And to show you this, um, I have two variables here. One is for rock band, so assume that one group was exposed to songs from the Beatles and the other one uh, songs from uh, the Rolling Stones. And the variable which was measured was creativity or how creative um, the participants felt afterwards, which is obviously a fictitious data set. So to run this test, you're going to click here on top on Analyze on the menu. So just reminding you, every test in SPSS starts by clicking on Analyze on top. If we scroll down to Gener Linear Model, then the first option of Univariate. So I'm going to click here on Univariate. This window pops up. The variable that we measured is obviously our dependent variable. So we're going to drag it here to dependent. And the rock band, which is our fixed factor or our nominal variable, we're going to move to fixed factor. Um, then we click on options. So if we click on options, we have here on top right homogeneity test. So we're going to click on that. Here in the bottom, we have our significance value, our confidence interval uh, of 95%, which is the normal threshold. If you want to have a higher confidence um, interval, if you want to change this value, you can here to put, for example, 0.1 but I'm going to leave it with a default of 0.5, okay? And click on continue so we can have our results. So click on continue, click on OK. This window now pops up and I have here my Levine's test of equality of variance. And on the first row, we have based on means and this is the key value that we're looking for here. And what we want to meet the assumptions, for example, of an independent simple t test is that there is no variance. And therefore, that this value here is non-significant. In other words, higher than 0.05. So um, this value here is 0.07, which means that is non-significant. So that is a good thing in this test, which would mean that the um, assumption had been met. Okay. In case you're running an independent simple t test, and if your result here is significant, if it is below 0.05, SPSS will already give you um, the equal variances not assume on your output. So it should be okay um, as well to interpret. Okay, so in a nutshell, this is how you can quickly run a Levine's test for equality of variance. And um, yeah, don't forget on the comments, there's a link to an e-guide that we have written uh, for you to help you use SPSS. And also on the playlist of Live Innovation channel or under um, SPSS tutorial, there's also a tutorial on how to run a independent samples t-test. Okay, so that is it. I wish you a beautiful day and all the best. Take care. Bye-bye.